Hello everyone and welcome to Rob's Rogues. Rob, is that a Marvel character on your stand? Yes it is. Wait a minute, Rob. Do you like Marvel also? Yes I do. <laughs> as you can tell, this is Captain America. And as you can see, the Captain America Blu-ray, DVD, 3D, combo, pack, digital, ultraviolet, and uh, outer space version, <laughs> never mind, um, <laughs> of the movie with Captain America. Just recently picked him up uh, this week along with a couple others that you will see. Um, I don't have a lot of Marvel action figures. I do have some, but as I primarily collect, at least right now in my life, are, you know, DC stuff. DC UC figures, uh, DC Direct, uh, and generally pretty much any Batman and, or more importantly, Robin stuff that I could find, as you've probably seen on this channel. But I do branch out from time to time, and I was such a fan of the Marvel movies, even going all the way back to Daredevil, the Ben Affleck movie. Don't hate me for liking it. I do really like that movie. I think Ben Affleck did a decent job, but that's not why we're having this discussion. Um, I would see that this is brought to you by Hasbro. We'll kind of show you the box here. And this is only at Walmart, so you can only get uh, these series of the Hasbro action figures in the... I guess this is almost 7-inch line. We'll do some comparison with some DCUC figures that I have here. Um, so, I kind of lost my train of thought. This is actually Captain America. Here is the box. Um, as you can see, the only at Walmart. Um, here are... Here's, let's read the bio really quick that it has here. It says, As soldier in World War II, Captain America fought for the safety and honor of his nation. Now as a leader of the Avengers... He fights to protect the entire world. Villains great and small wield their shattering powers without hesitation. Only an original super soldier and his team of awesome heroes stand between those ruthless individuals and the dev devastation of the planet. And it says uh, you can visit hasbro.com slash avengers, but it also says ask... Uh, ask a parent before going online. There you are. Um, the other figures in the wave, and this is a pretty cool wave, is Iron Man, the Incredible Hulk, which is extremely hard to find. Um, back when these first came out, obviously I saw them all. I regret not having picked up Captain America, or excuse me, Captain America, the Hulk. I really, really wanted the Hulk. Um, Hawkeye is another hard one to find. Loki is another hard one to find. Uh, Thor was getting... Uh, pretty hard to find, and I actually bought Thor first. Um, I, th I thought I would do Captain America first since he is the first Avenger and the leader of a team. Um, but I bought Thor because right now on the store shelves, all you can really find are Iron Man, Iron Man, and Captain America. But I went to a Walmart that had a Thor, so I thought, you know what, I'm picking up Thor, so at least now I can have Captain America, Iron Man, and Thor. And I would love to try and find. Uh, the Hulk somewhere, and I actually read Hawkeye wrong. They actually have him listed as Marvel's Hawkeye, so there must be a copyright name or something that they had to use Marvel's in front of Hawkeye. So, uh, very cool set of action figures. Um, I didn't think I was going to be buying any of these. Um, they are 15 uh, you know, the Walmart price, like 97 um, after taxes and everything, it's a whopping $17 even, uh, no change. So they are expensive, and it was a, a little bit of a talking in with the uh, wife a little bit to say, you know, I want to buy some of these Avenger uh, action figures, at least trying to get the core team. If I don't get Loki or Hawkeye, I'm fine with that. I would really like to get the Hulk, and he is a massive figure. Um, I'm looking at Superman here off to the side. So we'll bring the other boy in blue up. Um, kind of telling you right now, I'm thinking that they are going to need their bases to stand on. I don't know if you can see this. Um, well, first I'll we'll do Superman. So they are they're si uh, six inches inside, six inches tall, I guess. I thought they were going to be close to seven. So if you want to pose them with your DC UC figures, you have uh, you know the two Boy Scouts here. So we'll bring, take Superman off to the side here. 
But I was going to talk about the articulation. I don't know if you can see the boot. Um, I've got him all the way leaning forward. I don't think Captain America is going to be able to stand on his own without some help. If we can get down close to his feet here. This should be straight. See how his heels aren't touching? Now if his heels are leaning back, I've got him held. So if he's on his heels I let him go, he's obviously going to fall. So that is a bummer right there that you are going to need this stand. Now, you can get some crazy articulation out of Captain America. His... <laughs> there's a broken ankle. Uh, that is not the figure being broken. That is the actual articulation of the figure. It'll move... I think it'll move back. Watch me break this thing. This one I know does move down. Um, well, that did appear to move up a little bit. There, that one moved back. Maybe he will stand. You know what? Maybe I just had... A oh, little tipsy there, Captain America. Um, I'm sure there's probably a way to get him to stand. Um, but I don't want to force it too much. There he's kind of standing. Um, I'll probably end up putting him on the base because I'm afraid uh, with a little bit of shaking he's going to um, completely fall. We'll get some... Oops, there was the light. Um, he's got a shield here as I was kind of messing with it. Um, you can see how it's uh, fastened in there. And I'm wondering if it will go on his back. You know, it looks like it will. I probably have that completely off camera right there. Um, they kind of have it bound up here to fit in his arm. But I think I could position this. It's on straps. Lose a little, uh, see even notches back here. So if I wanted to put it on his back like it was in the movie, like how he normally carries it, I think I could. Although, for probably display purposes, I'm going to want to have him hold his actual shield. But um, I have not bought any of the... Man, I really can't get that to bend. just feels like that arm doesn't want to move at all. You can see the uh, spot here where it looks like the arm should move, but it is extremely, extremely tight. Um, it does have a j double jointed elbow here, as you can see, but I tell you, the, I don't know if these are like the Marvel, um, I almost want to call them Marvel Selects, Marvel Legend figures, if they're like that at all. Uh, Captain America's belt is a separate molded on or sculpted piece. <coughs> Excuse me, in the box, uh, his belt wasn't actually straight. Um, he does have an upper waist uh, torso turn there. I do not, he does not turn at the waist, but he can turn at the chest. Um, head is on a little bit of a ball joint here. So you look up and down, 360 all the way around. Um, he has an upper thigh twist right here. And then he can move at the hips, I think. And that's really stiff as well. Um, I'm not really going to want to try and force it. As I start to try and move the leg here, you can see that it's, I'm actually pushing on the socket that the leg is in. You can see where it's joined in in here so it looks like it should this one moves a heck of a lot better than the left leg does bend at the knee um, looks like his knees are double jointed but this whole right side of the figure from the waist down does not want to move so as you can see there's a pin here it is supposed to move but I can't there it goes so yeah I'm really not going to force this this is the only one that I have obviously and uh, for whatever reason this arm there it goes so the joints are pretty solid but it just kind of feels like it's gonna want to pop right off um, I'm not trying to knock the figure like that but um, 
sometimes having so much articulation is a pain in the butt um, because every joint wants to move and crisscross and turn and sometimes I'm just fine with just some standard articulation on a figure and uh, I don't need all the fancy stuff I just want to be able to get him posed so I'm about to do some work on the uh, you know, there's some all, some cool straps that you can have on here to have the shield on his back. It looks like that's exactly what it's designed for. But now trying to get him to hold his actual shield looks like it is going to be a pain in the rear to get it so the shield is being held normally. As you can kind of see, it's dropping there. So <clears throat> I haven't had a whole lot of experience with the Hasbro line of figures. Um, if this is how all the figures are, um, I, I do like the color of Captain America quite a bit. Um, I like how they made him almost more comic book. Um, and this leads me to believe if you can have th this actor on screen run around in this costume, you can definitely do get away from the gray Batman. You can have Robin in his real colors and the Flash and all that stuff. I thought Captain America was good in his own movie. I thought he was excellent in the Avengers. So, um, I do like this figure. The shield is, I guess, another story in its own, trying to get him to hold this thing. So, so it looks good on my shelf. Because there's not really... I would have put a little handle or something in here for him to hold. Um, didn't show you the base. Here is his base. So, he pegs into the base pretty well. And these bases... Can connect with the other Avengers bases so he stands on the base really well and then once I get uh, Thor out I'll start showing you how they can uh, connect and they can stack on top of one another and or interlock um, I would have done the A down here there's the A I would have had it done so we can see it because now it looks like it's backwards the A's pointing our way, so um, that's kind of nitpicking a little bit. Um, I'm really glad I got this figure. I'll be even happier once I can get, there we go, the shield to stay on, so it looks good to get the camera up there. But this is going to be really cool. Um, I have a little shelf that I just cleaned off to be able to put the Avengers standing together. And another reason I got these figures, and I'm going to show them to you right now, is the Toy Biz daredevil that's uh, the ben affleck movie version um i know it's not the marvel uh hasbro or not the marvel it's not the hasbro version but i did have a six inch action figure of daredevil that i wanted to put with some other type of action figures and i didn't have any six inch marvel characters and now i do i know it's not the same continuity but uh he does come with his own little base here so i may kind of have him off to the side with all my other Avengers, but that may be a review for another time. So today, as we're kind of just looking at some of this articulation, it's a l new and different to me, so hopefully I kind of pinpointed it. Would I get them? Yes, they are expensive. They're $17. They are more expensive than a DCUC figure, but I think they're going to look really cool on my shelf. And I have a little section kind of quarantined for my... Marvel uh, Avengers movie figures. There's also a Sp the Amazing Spider-Man figure that's a Hasbro Walmart exclusive that's going to go really well with these guys as it has the exact same uh, collector's base. So uh, Daredevil and uh, Spider-Man were both Marvel heroes, so I'm going to put them all together as these are the only six-inch action figures I have from uh, a Marvel line. So that's a lot of rambling. We'll go on to Thor. So today we've been taking a look at the Hasbro Avengers movie series Walmart only exclusive. And as always, this is Rob for Rob's Rogue signing off saying we will see you guys next time.